now we are going to discuss what we mean by tautologies, contradiction and contingencies. The concept is very important as far as logic is concerned. So let us see first of all what we mean by tautology. So by tautology we mean a formula which is always true. For example, uh, if we consider the formula P or negation of P, then independently of the value of P, this formula will always evaluate to true. If you put P equal to true, this formula will become true or false, which is equal to true. And if you give P equal to false, this formula will become false or true, which is again equivalent to true. So, in simple words, a formula which is always true, it will never become false. Whatever value you give to the variables, uh, it doesn't matter. Independently of the values of the variables, the formula will always be true. Such a formula is called as tautology. Or what you can say, if you draw the truth table for a tautology, then the final column will contain all true values. For example, let us consider the implication P and Q implies P. Now, this particular formula is a tautology. Let us see how. Uh, if you draw the truth table for this formula, P and Q implies P. So, what we will do? We will take two variables, P, Q. Then we will take P and Q. And then we will take P and Q implies P. Okay, so this will be false, true, false, true, false, false, true, and then again true. Now we need to go for P and Q, which is the left hand side of the implication. Uh, false and false will be false, false and true will be, uh, sorry, false, then true and false will be false, and finally true and true will be true. And then we need to go for this P and Q implies P. What I will do, I will copy the P column again. So P is false, false, true, true. And here we need to go for P and Q implies P. So simply, uh, we need to have an implication between these two columns. False implies false will be true. False implies false will again be true then false implies true, this is also true as far as implication is concerned and finally true implies true will also be true and if you observe the final column of this particular formula then all the values in the column come out to be equal to true and that is why we say that this particular formula P and Q implies P is a tautology. So just another definition of tautology that is Whenever the final column will contain all true values, the formula will be called as the tautology. The another definition that we saw, the formula which is always true, independently of the individual values of the variables, that particular formula will be called as a tautology. What do you mean by formula being independent of the variable? Here whatever values you give to the variable, false, 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 true, true, false, false, true, true, it really does not matter. Okay. So, uh, anyways, the formula is always going to be true, so we need not be very worried about what individual values we are going to the individual propositional variables. This is called as independence of the variables. What we will say, the, the truth value of the formula is independent of the individual propositional values of the variables and therefore such a formula will be called as the tautology. Now, second category of formula which is always false is called as a contradiction. So, contradiction is the exact reverse of tautology. So, what do you mean by contradiction? A formula which is always false will be called as a contradiction. Now, simple example will be P and negation of P. Whatever value due to P, P and negation of P will always be false. For example, 
we will take the truth table here p negation of p and p and negation of p p can be either true or false if p is true negation p will be false if p is false the negation of p will be true true and false will become false false and true will become false that is what i am trying to say independently of the value of the variables the formula will always be false whatever value due to the variable the formula will always be false so such a formula will be called as contradiction okay now uh, a contradiction is also called as identically false statement so just another name here would be identically false or it is also called as logically false and similarly a tautology is called as identically true it is also called as logically true or it is also called as a uh, universally valid formula so just another names contradiction will also be called as identically false it is always false or it is called as a logically false statement and tautology is called as identically true or logically true or a universally valid formula and the third category of formula uh, is naturally uh, a formula which is neither tautology nor a contradiction the simple example would be the formula p or q let us suppose the four different combinations for p q false true false true false false true true and let us go for p or q now here false or false will be false and remaining all three results will be true so because one of the values is false all the values are not false and that is why we cannot say it's a contradiction all values are not true therefore we cannot say that it's a tautology some values are true and some values are false such a formula will be called as a contingency so we have got three different categories of the formula number one tautology which is always true then contradiction the formula which are always false independently of the values of the individual variables and then contingency uh, the formula which are sometimes true and sometimes false or what we can say at least one for at least one combination of the variables the formula should be true and for at least one combination of the variable the formula should be false so just another way for contingency will be a formula which is neither tautology nor contradiction will be called as a contingency see if you if you have got a formula uh, in which the all final values are true then this particular formula cannot be called as a contingency because it doesn't satisfy the condition of sometimes true and sometimes false here sometimes false is missing when i say the formula is sometimes true sometimes false then that sometimes stand for at least once it has to be true at least once it has to be false at least once now this formula doesn't satisfy the condition of sometimes false that is why this formula cannot be called as a contingency and similarly when the formula is always false then it doesn't satisfy the condition of sometimes true the formula must be true at least once and therefore this formula is called as a contradiction it doesn't fit into the definition of contingency but yes whenever you have got a formula which is sometimes true and sometimes false and i mean at least once it is false at least once it is true then such a formula will be called as contingency so uh, another way in tautology the final column will contain all true values in contradiction the final column will contain all false values and in contingency the final column will contain at least one true and at least one false so we have got tautology contradiction contingency tautology always true contradiction always false and contingency which a formula which is neither tautology nor contradiction now 
let us see certain basic important properties of these three categories first of all the disjunction of tautology like tautology or tautology will always be a tautology okay that is the first property so wherever you do an ordering between two tautologies or between two identically true formula the result will always be a tautology tautology and tautology will always be a tautology so what i will say disjunction of tautologies will be a tautology and conjunction of tautologies will also be a tautology then contradiction or contradiction will always be a contradiction and contradiction and contradiction will also be a contradiction next contradiction or tautology can you give me what will be the result here one of the formula is a contradiction which will always be false another formula is a tautology which will always be true so contradiction or tautology is really like false or true which will always be true so the disjunction of a contradiction and tautology will always be a tautology and finally the conjunction of a contradiction and tautology will always be a contradiction because false and true will always be false so that will be a contradiction okay so these are the basic properties that you remember they are quite simple this stands for true or true will always be true true and true will always be true false or false will always be false false and false will always be false false or true will always be true false and true will always be true read it like disjunction of tautology will be a tautology conjunction of tautology will be a tautology then disjunction of contradictions will be a contradiction conjunction of contradictions will always be a contradiction then disjunction of a contradiction and tautology will always be a tautology and finally conjunction of a contradiction and tautology will always be a contradiction okay so these are the basic properties or uh, uh, fundamental things that you can remember about tautologies as well as contradictions or how they are affected when you do ordering or ending of tautologies and contradictions similarly let us consider the properties of contingencies so first one is disjunction of contingencies may be a tautology or contingency example let us consider p or negation of p now p is a contingency negation of p is also a contingency see p can be either true or false now depending upon p negation of p can be either true or false so if you consider p alone it's a contingency if you consider negation p alone then also it's a contingency but when you take disjunction of two contingencies like this then the result will be true which is nothing but tautology similarly if you consider this example p or q now p is a contingency q is a contingency and their result will be sometimes true sometimes false depending upon the individual values of p q and therefore 
this particular formula will be called as a contingency so what is the property disjunction of contingencies may be a tautology or disjunction of contingencies may be a contingencies and another important thing that comes out here is whenever you do disjunction of two contingencies contingency or contingency the result will never be a contradiction the result will always be either a contingency or a tautology or what you can say whenever you do oring of two contingencies contingency or contingency the final column will contain at least one true value and similarly another property will be disjunction of contingencies sorry conjunction of contingencies may be a contradiction or contingency now example here will be p and negation of p see p is a contingency negation p contingency contingency and contingency the result will be false always and therefore this will be called as a contradiction and similarly if you go for p and q the result will be sometimes true sometimes false and therefore this is an example of contingency and contingency is another contingency so the properties of the properties are tautology or tautology will always be a tautology tautology and tautology will always be a tautology similarly contradiction or contradiction will always be a contradiction then contradiction and contradiction will always be a contradiction contingency or contingency may be either a contingency or a tautology and contingency and contingency may be either a contingency or a contradiction two more properties disjunction of contingencies or in of two contingencies cannot be a contradiction similarly this conjunction that is ending of two contingencies cannot be a tautology so these are all the fundamental properties regarding contingencies contradictions and tautologies thank you